today we have to learn guys there's something called as filter transformation this is the data of years this is the source table and what is the uh, transformation logic is so out of all the all this department there are so many department number 10 20 30 and all only department 10 is getting loaded into the target table and we have to validate this data and for that we have to write the validation query and that is what is the today's uh, topic we have to understand filter validation and their validation so how to validate the filter transformation so data are getting filtered and loaded into the target table so we have to learn today filter transformation validation so the, i told you this is the source this is the target table to validate the data from source to target the first thing what we require is the uh, queries we have to prepare. So tell me the query at the source side and tell me the query at the target side. Everyone tell me. Now, uh, suppose first I will do the count validation. So count validation. So guys, now Anu, tell me what will be the query and in the source side and what will be the query in the target side? Can you tell me Anu? Um, yes, select uh, so target, uh, sorry, source table name. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, no, no, no. First, we have to validate the count. You remember, how can we see? There are three records here. There are 14 records here. So, in the, always we will do changes in the source query. So, how can uh -huh. we meet the uh, count from between the source and the target? See the... Uh -huh. So let us take count uh, distant employee uh, number from source number. From source table, huh? Source table. Okay. Actually, we have to count. And what is the filter condition? What is the filter condition? Are you understanding? Out of all this department, department 20, 30, 10, what is loaded, guys? Department 10 is only loaded. Okay. So how can we uh, check this? Can you think? If we want to count the number of records, what is the query, Anu? Can you tell me? Select count star from table. Yes or no? Yes. So if I want to count the number of records, what is the query? Select count star from which table? Source table. Source. And and what is the condition? Only department number 10 is loaded. So I will write where department number equals to 10. What will be the output? Output will be 3. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Yes. What will be the 10, 10, 10 only? Yeah, yeah. 10 is how many times? 1 is here, 2 and 3. three. So what will be the output in the source side? Three. 3. In the target side, if I want to write query, what is the query? Can you just tell me? Select count star. From what? Link. From target. target. And what will be the output? Can I just think that output? Three. Yes or no, guys? Yes. In the target, how many records are there? Three. Now I want all of you to write the uh, data validation query. Data validation query for filter transformation. Start, guys. Right in the chat, uh, so I have to validate each and every data from the source to target. Can you just uh, write and send me in the chat?
Srinivas has written select star, filter star from. Uh, no, no, if I want to get all the records from the source, what is the query, Srinivas? Select star from source. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, sir. MI11X, who is that? No, no, you have to validate each and every data from the source to target. What query you have to use or no? You remember aggregate transformation? I told you to, if I want to check the data from the source, not present in target and data present in target, not present in source, what is the query? Minus query, yes or no guys? Yes, so write down the minus query. MI11X, who is that? Uh, can you just tell your name, please? Uh, am I audible? Can you unmute and speak? MI11X? Yeah, rest of you, please write down the query. Done. See, guys, why are you taking so much query at uh, uh, time? I'm not able to understand. Who is this MI11X, guys? Can you please tell me your name? One is speaking only. Anu, are you there? Yes or no? Yes, I am. I am. Are you writing the data validation query? How to write down? If I want to get all the records from source, what is the query? Tell me. Select a star from source. Yes or no? Uh, Anu, yes or no? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I want only department number 10. So what I will write? Where department name goes to 10. 10. Then what I have to use? Minus. What I have to write? Select star from target. Yes or no, guys? That's what is the query. Yes. Yes or no? Simple query. What this will give? What this query will give? Only what department? Department 10. And in the target, what is there? Only department 10. And I put a minus. Data present in source, not present in target. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Yes, sir. So if I want it from target to source, just this minus this. Data validation query is fine, guys. I want to write duplicate query. Can you just tell me duplicate query for employee number? Select. Everyone tell me employee number. Count of star from which table? Target table. Then, guys, group by what? Everyone tell me group by employee number having what, guys? Count star greater than what, guys? One. Yes or no, guys? What will be the output? What should be the output, guys? No row selected. Yes or no, guys? Yes. If, yes. I, want to do, if I want to do a null check, can you just tell me the query for null check? If I want to check the employee number is the not having any null value, what is the query for that? Can you just tell me? Select employee number. star from target table where employee number is null. Why I'm writing is null? If there is null value, I can get it. What should be the output, guys? Everyone tell me what should be the output? No row selected. No row selected. Yes or no, guys? Any yes. doubts in this uh, filter validation uh, uh, queries and their uh, validation? Tell me, guys, yes or no? Yes. Who is this MI11X? Can you just tell me your name, name please? Yeah, Venkat here, Vikram. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. From that time, I'm taking the name. That's okay. Did you understood, guys, this count validation and this um, uh, this data validation, this duplicate, this null? Yes or no, guys? Any doubts? Just ask me now. Fine? 
guys tell me yes or no is it fine yes sir yes thank you uh, now this is fine guys if you have understood filter transformation i there is something called as expression transformation guys so there is a passive transformation i told you in passive transformation number of records will not be reduced when loaded to the target table this is called as expression ta uh, transformation this is the source table and target table what is happening salary gets incremented by 10% uh, that is the uh, transformation logic salary gets incremented by 10% a particular uh, column is added called increment column this column is getting added now you tell me first validation for expression transformation will be what now understand this is the source table this is the target table one column is getting added which is having the 10% increment of the salary column that means suppose 800 is the salary 10% increment is 80 1600 is the salary 10 10% increment is 160 so now what I want from all of you is to tell me the validations, validation for expression transformation. And guys, and then what is happening is we have to validate first what? Count validation. Tell me guys how to validate source and target. How will I validate the count between source and target? Can you just tell me, guys? Uh, Anu, are you there? Yeah. So how will I validate the count between source and target? Number of record has not increased. What is the transformation logic? The salary get incremented by 10%, which is in a particular column. So how will I validate the count between source and target? Can you just tell me? In the source side, what will be the count? Everyone tell me, select. Select count star, star from source. Oh, what will be output? Output will be what? 14. Yes or no? Yeah. See here, number of records are not increasing. 14 or records are here. 14 records are here. Only the salary is getting incremented by 10%, which is in a separate column. This is fine, guys. Now tell me in the target side. What will be the query? Select, Select count star from target. What will be the output? 14. Fourteen. Excellent, guys. Now I have to validate the data validation. Can you just try the query of the data validation once using the minus? Everyone try and send me in the chat. Each and every data from source to target. Just try. Try, 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 guys. This is actual ETL testing where you have to validate the data between the source and the target and have to think the query. How will I frame the query so that the data between source and target is matching? And how will I write that minus query so that I get the output as no rows? That is what is the challenging thing here. Rest everything is fine, but this is the main challenge. But uh, Vikram, uh, in mapping document, do we get uh, which transformation is used? Yeah, this is the transformations used. This is the actual, there are, there can be some other logic also. This is the validation. Okay. This is the validation of what? Uh, data validation. But this will be same for uh, anything or it will be keep changing? this validation. Mm -hmm. uh, this validation will be same for uh, all the projects or it will be different project to project. 
this will differ from project to project, but these are the common validations of Informatica, which you should know. And if you tell this much, that's enough. If you tell this that, you know, filter transformation, expression transformation, and then uh, um, aggregate transformation, this will show your knowledge and uh, where less people will know these things. So you have to tell these validations. Done, guys. Are you are you even trying? And no, are you trying? Yeah, already shared that. No, what are you doing? What is the why you want the count here? You want the data. Select count. Start from source. All, all data from. So all data from source and target. Okay, and yeah. then minus, and then why this count is coming? You have to add one column. How can you add a column? That is what you have to think in the select query. Guys, please try by yourself. I will write all the queries. You will not learn anything. Rakesh, are you trying? Rakesh, are you there? Rakesh, yes, can yes, yes. Uh, are you trying this minus query? Yes. So how can I achieve that? If I want to get all the records from a table, what is the query? Let's start from source. Uh, well, this will give what? Will it meet the criteria? No. In the target, there's a increment column. How can I add it? Can you think? Add column. No. This if I uh, if I write the name, suppose uh, EMP number, comma, e name, comma, job comma higher date okay comma mgr comma salary comma commission comma department number comma sal into what 0 0.1 yes or no guys and i'm giving an alias name increment this is the column what is required now is it like target yes or no guys tell me yes or no let me just show you in the database. This is the most complex part. Please try to participate more, much more. Attempt every validation. These things is taught by VTS only. Yeah, so what I was telling is if I want to get all the columns, I can just put uh, all the column names or I can write e, e, suppose A table, A dot star. Then I wanted what? Uh, salary incremented by 10%. So what I will write? A dot sal into 0 0.1, okay, from the EMP. It will give me the same result. Are you able to see this incremented column? Yes or no, guys? Yes. Anu, tell me what is this query? Did you understood? Can you tell me what is this query? Uh, we gave the um, different name, alias name. Okay, and A. Then, and A dot okay. star means what? Uh, like uh, bringing all the records into A. Okay, all the columns from, uh, from this A table. All this yeah. column has come, okay. Comma a dot sal into zero point one means what? We are increasing the salary ten percent, so that's why point one. Yes, yes. And why we are writing a dot? Because the name of EMP table is a. Yes or no, guys? 
Yes. Yep. If I want uh, the to change the column name, what can I do? Can you just tell me? Do you remember that? Yes or no, guys? I want to change the name of this column. What I have to write? Suppose I want to change to INC. So I will write, give a space, write the name. Name of this column will be INC. Yes or no, guys? So this is my target. This is my expected uh, thing, which is in the target. Yes or no? Everyone, yes or no? Yes. So without giving alias, you can... Yeah, you can know you can you don't give alias then also that's fine. If you give it is a little bit uh, professional, that's all. So what query I wrote? Will this query work, guys? Yes or no? Same right. Yeah, yes or no. If I write like this, will this query execute, guys? Yes or no? Yes. I think yes. From which table? Yeah. From is it same same output? Yeah. So either I can use all the column names and then sell into 0 0.1 or I can use what? Include. Uh, a dot a star. Yes or no, guys? A dot star. Yes. Yep. Am I correct, guys? Yes or no? Yep. Did you understood? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Then the source minus what? Target. What will be the output, guys? Can you just tell me the output? No rows selected. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Now, guys, this is data validation. Now I have to validate the null and duplicate. How to validate the duplicate, guys? Can you just tell me? In employee number column, what will be the query? Let me just write down here only. I want to validate. Suppose there is a duplicate in department number. I want to check there is duplicate or not. Then what will be the query? Can you just tell me, Anu? Select department number. Anu, can you just help me? Count of star Minus. from EMP group by what? Department, department number. number. Having what? Count of star greater, greater than one. What will be the output of this query, guys? Can you just tell me? I have to check that any duplicate is their department number. Is there duplicates or not in department number? Tell me, guys, yes or no? Is there? Yes. So what will be the output? 10, 20, 30. Now, department wise count for department 20, how many times it is there? Suppose oh. it is there five times. Department 10, it is how many times? Three times. So like that, department wise, what is the count? See here. Department 10 is three times. Department 25 times. Department 36 times. So all these are having duplicate value or not? Yes or no, guys? Yes. yes so if I wanted to check for this column, it should have unique value, but it is not unique. Then is it a defect or not? Is it duplicate value or a repetition value? Duplicate means what? Same values are coming again and again. That becomes duplicate. Yes or no? If the same value is coming again and again, it will become duplicate. That is what is repetition of the values. That is called as duplicate. So 10 is repeated how many times? Three times. Yes or no, guys? Mm -hmm. So if this column was defined as unique, if this was the output, that means there is some defect. The developer has not developed it properly, and we would log it as a defect. Suppose mm -hmm. I want to check the duplicate in the employee number column. Can you just tell me the query? Select employee number. Comma what? Comma count string from employee group. Employee by number. Group by what? Employee number having what? Having count star greater than one. Output is no record. No record means what? There is no duplicate. Yes or no, guys? I want to check the null null in employee number column. What will be the query? Uh, Vikram, I have a question here. Yeah, null value. Tell me, tell me. Uh, here, uh, department number, we are checking duplicate, right? But uh, so our our aim is like uh, we need to write the increment. Uh, how much is the increment for uh, each and every employee, right? That so is the we... that that is the first validation. That is already done. Okay. Now the the first validation was count. That is already done. Next validation was data. That is already done. This is the third validation. I wanted to check in this column, there should not be any duplicate. So I have written the duplicate query for this column. 
Okay. Now this is the fourth validation. I wanted to check duplicate in the employee number. There's no uh, duplicate. Now I'm doing the fifth validation. What is the fifth validation? I want to see there is any null value in this employee number column. It should not be there. So what is the, this is the requirement. There should not be any null value in the employee number column. So what is the query I will write? Select a star from oh, EMP oh, where oh. employee number is what? Null. null. What should be the output? No rows selected. Yes or no, guys? No because there is no null values here. And if the same query, if I write in commission, and if the requirement is commission, should not have any null value, then what oh, will happen? Select a star from EMP where commission is null. What will be the output, guys? Tell one, me now. One null will be there. How many nulls are there? One, two, three, four, ten nulls are there. Yes or no, guys? Ten. Yes. All these ten records has come. Yes or no, guys? Yes. So this will become a defect because the requirement was commission should not have any null value, but it is having null value. That is what is the defect. So what are the validations we have done, guys? Count validation, tell me. Oh. Data validation, then oh. duplicate validation, then no, what? No, validation. No, no, no. Null validation. Null validation, yes or no, guys, yes. Now, quickly, 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 next one, next, 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 next. What is the next? This is the next. Uh, now, this is a requirement employee number and employee name is concatenated and loaded into the target table. What other can... than this, is there any validation? Hmm? Other than this, we have no, any... no, 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 no. The, the, this is the main validation goes count minus duplicate null structure. That's all. So now, guys, uh, there are different different requirements. Suppose this is a requirement. Okay. We validated, guys, right? What was the requirement? Requirement was salary got incremented 10%. So the validations are same count minus duplicate null and as per business logic. Business logic was salary got incremented by 10%. This is business logic one. The next business logic is what, guys? The employee number and employee name is getting concatenated and loaded into the target table. This is your target table. Okay. So now, guys, my question to you is, let me just put the target table separately. This is the target table, and let me bring the source table. So this is the source table. Fine, guys. This is the source table, guys, yes or no? Yes. This is the target table, yes or no? Yes. What is the uh, transformation logic? Can you just tell me? Employee number and employee name is getting concatenated. Transformation logic is what, guys? Employee number and employee name is getting concatenated. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Now tell me what shall we do, guys? What will be the a way to validate the source and target. Tell me first what we have to validate. Everyone tell me what is the first validation? Count validation. Yes or no, guys? Mm -hmm. Everyone tell me what is the first validation? Count validation. What will be the query in the source side? Everyone tell me what will be the query in the source side? Select count star from where? From source. What will be the output? Will it be 14 or not, guys? Yes or no? Yes. Validation in the target. Number of records are not reducing. What is the count validation? Select count star from target. Yes or no, guys? What is the output? 14. 14. I have to do the data validation. How can I do the data validation? I will have to frame the query. Select. Now, what is, what is the transformation is happening? Okay, separate column is there where employee number and employee name is get, getting concatenated. How can I write? Select a dot star from EMP A, and then what do you have to write, guys? Here, what do you have to concatenate? Tell me a dot employee number is getting concatenated to what? Name. A dot E name. Yes or no, guys? And then what I have to use minus what? Target, we don't do any modification. Select uh, select star from what, guys? 
target and what should be the output guys tell me what should be the output Seven three six nine. No rows selected. Yes or no, guys? Because we have created a table a query where the data are fetched from the source table, which is exactly similar to what target. Yes or no, guys? Yes. Yes. And if I wanted to do target minus source, what will be the query? Select a star from target. Then what I will do? Minus. What I will do, guys? All those things from the source. Now, please repeat that one minute, uh, Vikram. So, minute. once we write this one, uh, we don't get any output. See, this is the output. Okay, this is your target table. Your target mm -hmm. table is having a column where mm -hmm. employee number and employee name is getting concatenated and loaded. Concatenated. Yeah. Okay, so now you have to reframe a query in such a way that if you do A minus B, there should not be any records. Because that means all the data from the source are properly loaded into the target. Okay, so how can you write the query? That is what is the thing. Suppose understand like this. This is our target table. So this is a target table. Now this is a source table. Now guys, if I want to do source minus target, what will be the output? All the records are same, yes or no, guys? And no, all the records are the same, yes or no? Yeah. So if I want, if I do select star from EMP minus no rows will select yeah. select star from target table what will be the output nothing no row selected yes or no mm -hmm. that's fine now similarly here what is the condition it is telling that the employee number and employee name is getting concatenated okay. and loaded into the target table so i have to do the modification in the source table query so what i will do select a dot star comma what i will do uh, a dot emp number concatenate with what a dot e name from which table emp now what will happen it will generate an error huh? <laughs> what is the thing i have not written a here okay just write here a fine guys so this is the table where i have got the concatenated column yes or no guys yes any doubt or no in this query a dot star myth means all the records from employee table and a dot employee number i concatenate this is concatenate sign so i have concatenated employee number and uh, e name from which table emp a any doubt guys yes or no anu um, so we yes, created yes. we gave the alliance name a again Mm -hmm. And then bringing the same record for the, the same as the target. You, see, you have to frame a query in such a way that your data from the source should be similar to what? To the target. What is the data in the target? Is this the data? Yes or no? Yes. So the required data is uh, concatenating the employee name and uh, uh, employee number. Yes. And getting loaded into the target. We have to validate source and target. What is the uh, transformation in the target? Employee number is getting concatenated to the employee name and getting loaded into the target. So what we do, we we'll write a query such a, such that that the so that the output of the source will be similar to this target, and then we will do the minus, and then the output should be no record found. Always we'll have to do okay. modification in the source query. That is what from that time I'm telling. In filter transformation, what happened? Do you remember that? Out of all this department, only department 10 was loaded. So what was the minus query? Can you just tell me? Select a star from source where department number equals to 10. That means only 10 records were selected from this uh, source table. And then we minus to what? Target table. Yes or no, guys? Yes, see here. Select uh, all these columns from source where department number equals to 10 minus select all the columns from target. Yes or no, guys? Tell me yes or no. Okay, so here we are validating whether the uh, this concatenated was happened in the target or not. So it was already happened. We are not getting any result with this. Um, it is it is already happened by the developer. They have developed a logic by which the source data has got transformed and loaded into the target table. Yeah. 
Got it. The transformation okay. logic is these two columns are getting concatenated and loaded. Now our ETL tester, we are ETL tester. What we have to do? We have to check that the data is properly loaded from source to target with the transformation logic. Yes or no? For that, as an ETL tester, we have to write a query that is called validation query. So how can we write the validation query? First, I selected all the columns I got till here. Now, what is the transformation logic? These two columns are getting concatenated. For that, I, I wrote a query where I concatenated these two columns. Do you remember that query? Yes or no? Yes, you see. I got all the records. Then I concatenated these two things. And then what I did, I'm minusing it with what? From the target table. And I should get what? No records. Because I was confused why you gave the alliance name again. And uh, yeah, at that point, I didn't get what you're saying. But okay, I got it. Yeah. Nothing from source to target data is going, yeah. getting loaded okay. with some transformation logic. For that, we write the transformation validation query. This is complex, but you have to understand. This is what we have to do. That is what the ETL testers are paid. Then what they will be paid in lakhs. This is the validation query you have to write. Now tell me the query for duplicate in employee number column. If I have to check the duplicate in employee number query column. What is the query? Select employee number. Comma what? Tell me a new query. Count to start from EMP. Uh, group by what? EMP means source. EMP means, EMP means uh, suppose this is a target table. Target. Then group by what? Group by what? Employee number. Having what? Having what? Oh. Can you just tell me? Count to start greater than one and output should be what? No, no rows selected. Yes or no guys? If I have to check the null, null validation, can you just tell me in the employee number column? Can you tell me query, Anu? Uh, select employee number. Start from uh, target table, where what? Employee yeah. number is null. No, no. And then what should be the output? No rows no selected. So this completes your guys. Validation of what guys? Your expression transformation. Let me just save this uh, uh, things. Okay. And I'll share you this notes, all the notes. Uh, that's all. And then tomorrow we'll again start guys. There are a lot of validation guys like your joiner transformation, sorter transformation, lookup transformation, all those validations will start. Uh, so let me just share the today's note. First of all, first thing. 11, 10, 20, 22. Uh, fine guys, and then uh, tomorrow I will start your uh, requirement three. First of all, one more uh, requirement scenario we will learn. Then uh, one more uh, uh, requirement we will learn. Then we'll move to your uh, router transformation, sorter transformation. There are so many validations, guys. And these things uh, is very, very complex and important. So all of you need to attend your classes regularly at the same time. So that's all for today. And people uh, who have not paid the fees, please pay the 